Number six, aluminum is the most recycled beverage container. Number five, once an aluminum can is recycled, it can be part of a new can within 60 days. Number four, there's no limit to the amount of times aluminum can be recycled. Number three, we consume over 80 billion aluminum soda cans every year. Number two, the recycling industry employs tens of thousands of people. And the number one reason to recycle aluminum is that the money from aluminum can recycling can go towards building more habitat for humanity homes. Recycling takes a lot of effort. I mean, 25 years ago, there was only one city with uh, curbside, re curbside recycling, and now there's uh, a little over 10,000. So it's getting, but you have to want to do it. Uh, we can put banners up, we can donate to local hospitals and charities, but uh, my, my plea to the viewers and everybody that's looking at it is get it started. Start with your kids and it's important for the environment and it also helps a good cause on the other side. The Aluminum Can Council hosts a program every year from September through November called America Recycles. And the challenge is a friendly competition to collect as many pounds of aluminum cans that we can do. Um, last year alone, we recovered about 500,000 pounds of aluminum, enough to pay $150,000 to donate to local charity. I would like to extend that to the city of Torrance, and so why don't we, Torrance and the Ball Corporation, here in this city of over 40 years, uh, try to make a real dent and a push and get our name on the map as well. And many of its employees, like Hans Bolthausen, have found ways to give back to our community. I started a long time ago on my own with uh, handing out toys for kids. And then uh, a few years back, we started uh, getting uh, recycled containers here. And I suggested we buy toys for kids and hand it out to, uh, we handed out for the last few years to Loma Linda Children's Hospital. And I thought I had a perfect setup because no matter how rich or poor you are, what color or what race you are, kids really don't want to be in a hospital. And uh, when they get a toy, you know, it really makes them great, you know, and I think that's a great feeling. You know, with my work schedule at Ball, we work a 3-3 schedule, three on, three off, so I have time off, and that's, so I like to donate my time at the hospital as through the chaplain staff, and I'm part of the staff there, and uh, as a minister, ministering to the people at Harbor UCLA. And as Ball continues to grow and give back to the community, Assistant Plant Manager Mark Story tells us what he hopes the future holds for this company. You know, we started out, you know, the, the brothers started out and we had the, the wooden jacket and we went up, we had the, the glass division, which we still have the rights to, but we've sold that off. And now we're in our aerospace division, what they're doing, um, the, the plastics division with the, with the pet bottles and everything. Um, aluminum cans are going into, you know, specialty cans, um, smaller cans, bigger cans. Uh, more for the money in our food group. You know, we've just added some, some newer plants into that and aerosol division and, and everything's going well there. So I see us still going, you know, up and, and into the future and, you know, from number two to number one in the world. Well, that's all the time we have for today's show. I hope you enjoyed our visit to the Ball Corporation. Remember, if you have a business or if you know of a business you think should be featured on the next episode, send an email to commonsense at tornet.com. Please be sure to tune in next time when we feature another Torrance company on Common Sense.